Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, AJ Hoag, where AJ's more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's AJ with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. How to feel more confidence when speaking English. Feel more confidence when speaking English. This is important in many situations. You have an English speaking test coming. You're very nervous. Might be the OET, might be TOEFL, might be IELTS, maybe something else. And if you don't speak confidently, you might fail. Or you have a job interview, a job opportunity in English. But for this job, this better job you want, you have to do a job interview in English. Again, you're probably going to feel very nervous. And what happens when you feel nervous, your speaking ability actually drops, right? You know this, right? So you need to feel confident. When you feel confident, the words come out more easily. Whatever your level, you'll speak better when you feel confident. And you'll speak worse when you're feeling nervous, not confident. Right? So, very important. Presentations, job interviews, English speaking tests, even sometimes just talking to a native speaker might or you know just a, or just a business meeting in english all these things can make people feel nervous and then you you think well i'm i know i know more english but i can't seem to use it every time i try to speak i i don't feel confident and of course you need confidence just for good communication even in your own language more confidence means better communication people will listen to you more they respect you more they'll actually listen to your ideas You'll be more persuasive if you're trying to get people to do something. You're more likely to succeed when you are communicating confidently. So how? This is the question, right? Because we all know this. Everybody knows that confidence is important. But the question is, well, I don't feel confident, so how can I do it? How do I change my feelings? I feel nervous. I feel afraid. I just feel like I'm not, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like I'm not very good. You know, we ha you have all these negative feelings and you want to feel confident. And you're like, ah, I should feel confident. I should feel confident. But you don't. You want to, but you don't. How do you change that? I have two methods, two methods. There's an instant method and there's a long-term method. The instant method, we can, some people call it fake it till you make it, <laughs> which is a nice little idiom. Fake it until you make it. Fake it means pretend until you make it, until you succeed. Pretend until you succeed. And it's actually a little more than pretending, but it is using the instant method, meaning right now, immediately. The instant method is powerful. It works. It will help you a lot. And it's using actually a lot of techniques that come from well, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and also that actors use, professional actors, movie actors, stage actors. Quite similar the way, you know, they can do a great job of pretending, right? So you might have, for example, an actor who's actually kind of weak and, uh, you know, not, not tough at all in real life, right? But, you know, in front of the camera, they can play like a super tough gangster and they seem so confident and strong, maybe even mean and terrible, right? Maybe they're playing a bad guy. And, uh, yeah, you know, everybody watching thinks, oh, wow, this guy, this guy is so scary, so tough. But in real life, actually not, right? So what, what is the actor doing? And women do this too. So actor, actress, what are they doing? They are... Um, you know, using different techniques to appear. They appear to be super confident, super tough, super strong, right? And of course, this is their job as actors to be really good at that. 
and not just confidence. They, of course, they can do all diff lots of different emotions. So we can do that. You basically become an actor. You see it as a performance. Your job interview is a performance. Your English test, doesn't matter, OET, TOEFL, whatever, IELTS, it's a performance. Like an actor on a stage, right? It's a performance. A, a speech, a presentation is a performance. It doesn't matter how big the audience is. You might give a presentation to four people in a small business meeting. You might give a presentation to 30 people at a conference. You might give a presentation, a speech to, you know, thousands of people at a big seminar. Okay, but it's still a performance you're performing. And so you can use these tricks instant. So let's talk about this first and then we'll talk about long term. Instant. What do we do? How do you change or at least pretend to have confidence when inside you're feeling nervous or something else? Or you're not feeling strong. Okay, and the first thing we got to do, this is basic NLP, and this is also something that actors do, is you, you work with your body, okay? Your emotions are not cooperating. They're not helping you. You're not, you're not feeling good. So what you do is you focus on your body, and you start to move your body, make your body into positions that look confident. What does that mean? So an actor might, you know, they bring their shoulders back and they put their head up. Maybe they push their chest out. They might exaggerate, especially uh, if an actor is on a stage and the audience might be farther away, then they have to do big movements, right? So they'll, they'll put their chest really up. You'll see Tony Robbins does this. You can tell he's exaggerating when he's doing a speech, a presentation, a seminar. You know, it's like very exaggerated. His chest is always out really, really big, and he's always shoulders back, and ah, oh, you know, he looks like he's like really, really like a gorilla, right? Oh, big and strong. Well, you can do this, right? So you start doing this, and you study how do confident people move? Well, confident people don't move quickly, usually. They actually have very slow movements, right? They move. They're not boring. They're not just, if they're speaking, giving a speech, they're not just you know, uh, dead, not moving, but they kind of, they move calmly. So this is the second thing you do. First, you put yourself in a, you know, a power posture. Some people call it, you know, you're, this is why in Power English, I teach you in my course, Power English, in my VIP program, I teach you again and again, like every lesson I tell you, shoulders back, head up, chest up, right? I'm training you every day to get into this confident position, and when you do this, you actually will begin to feel stronger. The physical body affects your mind. It affects your emotions. This is a cool little trick because it's hard to just change your emotions directly. It's hard to just say, ah, feel confident, feel confident, feel confident. It doesn't work. You probably tried it. It doesn't work. You're like, ah, but I don't feel it. I'm just, I still feel nervous. So forget the, forget the emotion part. Focus on the body change the body first, that will then start to change the emotions. And you can do this with your face too. You can you smile. Maybe you don't feel like smiling. You're super scared and nervous, but I don't care. Even a fake smile is better than nothing. So you put on a fa the, your best fake big smile and you start changing your body. So you start with just the position, the posture and how your face looks, right? And then you focus on movement. How do you move? How do confident people move? Generally, more slowly and calmly. They're calm because they're confident. And how do nervous people move? Quickly, right? Like the worst, a really nervous person shakes and they're moving very, very quickly, right? Quickly and suddenly, right? This is what a nervous person looks like, right? Like a super scared person, right? That I'm exaggerating, but you, you get the idea. You can even see in like my old, old, old videos from uh, YouTube. Look at my oldest ones. I'm, I'm kind of moving too much and too fast. So you can kind of see some of the nervousness there. Now I don't feel any nervousness. So I'm, I move more slowly, more calmly. Okay. So you focus on how you move. The next thing you focus on is your breathing. Confident people, calm people, relaxed people 
breathe more deeply and more slowly. So again, we are focusing on something physical. We're not trying to directly change the emotion. That's very difficult. Instead, you just focus on something physical. Now you've got the body position. You've got your movements are slower. Now you want to breathe more slowly and deeply. Now, this is hard to do in the middle of a job interview or the middle of a speech. It's hard to focus on your breathing while you're talking and doing that. But this is easy to do before. So before you go on to stage to speak, before you sit down for the test, right? Before you start your presentation, you can just focus and just very consciously, you can even hold your breath. Every breath, you hold your breath for like four or five seconds. So you breathe in deeply and really focus on taking big, exaggerated, large breaths and then hold it for a few seconds. And then focus on letting the breath out, exhaling means the breathing out, more slowly, exaggerate it, make it super slow. And then you do it again, of course. Slow, long breaths in, hold, slow, long breaths out. This will help to calm your body a little bit. And it just, again, you do this with all the other things. They all work together. You have to do all of these things in a, in a tough situation. But if, when you do all of these things, you will start to feel more confident. You might still feel nervousness. But very importantly, you will look confident. You might still feel nervous inside, but people outside, they won't notice. They won't realize. If you tell them afterwards, oh, I was so nervous, so scared, they'll, they'll say, oh, really? Oh, wow, you seem so confident. You seem, you seem fine. You seem really relaxed. Okay, so you're being an actor here. We are faking it a little bit. We're pretending a little bit, but hey, that's okay. Just realize it's a performance. Job interview is a performance. A speaking test, the IELTS speaking test, the OET speaking test, it's a performance. It's just, you're, it doesn't matter how you feel inside. Just be a good actor, okay? And then finally, you might focus on your voice and your speaking speed. Two problems happen when we feel nervous with speaking. Uh, one problem is some people will speed up and they'll talk too fast, right? And so you can hear it. It's unnaturally fast. You know, someone's nervous and they start really talking fast and quickly. And uh, again, this is a problem I had in the past. When I, well, I got nervous and I start, I would speed up, speed up, speed up. And it's obvious. You start to, and when you speed up your speaking, then you start speeding up your, uh, you know, your, uh, your your movements, your face, everything starts getting faster and you start to look kind of weird and, and, you know, crazy. <laughs> so this is a problem. So you want to try to slow your speaking down. And this is, you know, this is funny because a lot of people think, especially, you know, English learners, they think, oh, I need to speak fast, so then it looks like I'm fluent. But no, you just need to speak clearly and correctly. And of course, you need to speak fast enough. But speaking a little slowly is actually better. And this brings me to the second problem of speaking speed. Other people, when they get nervous, what happens is they can't, like, it's not just they speak slowly, it's they start saying, uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, 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 they start taking these weird breaks and, uh, mm, and they're looking down and they, uh, and they're, they're constantly thinking and trying to find the perfect word. And then this also, it looks terrible, right? It's not confident. So I'll give you a tip about this. And this is, if this is a habit you must break that if you need a break to think of something or you need to pause, it's totally fine. Just don't make any sounds. So silent pauses. Silent pauses look confident. Might be kind of long. You're thinking of your answer. You can even look away while you think. Hmm. Right? But see, that noise I made, hmm, no good. 
when you make sounds like uh mm, uh well uh the that sounds nervous it start you start to sound and look nervous but if you train yourself for silent pauses it looks confident even if it's quite long it's okay to have long pauses to think There's no need for super fast speech, not for tests, not for interviews, not for presentations. And in fact, when you pause silently, it can actually add some, a little bit of drama, a little bit of power to your speaking. You'll notice that some very top level speakers do this a lot. They'll make these long pauses. But it must be silent. Okay? If you, you've heard, so I just did some pauses there. Now listen to it again. If I, I'll do it again. But So you take some long pauses. Um, uh, and, uh, and then, you know, you keep talking again. And, um, you know, um, and that's totally different, isn't it? You feel the difference. When I start adding in the sounds or the filler words, um, yeah, you know, uh, well, then it kills it. Then it does sound terrible and it looks very nervous. Okay? And then you feel a little nervous too. So I think you're getting the idea, right? So now you change all of these things. Your posture, the way you move, the way you breathe, the speed of your speaking, including pauses. And when you put all this together, you will appear very confident. Your speaking will sound very confident. And actually, you will feel more confident. You might, it's not 100%, okay? You might still feel some nervousness, but no one will notice your nervousness, okay? And that's the most important thing in these kind of situations. So that's the instant approach. And you need this because, you know, you might have a job interview coming in a few months or, or tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe you're taking the IELTS test in three weeks, okay? You don't have time to do any kind of long-term thing. You need something that works immediately right now. So all of these things will help you and will work right now in any situation. You can do them in just a five minutes and this is going to help just practice these things so this is the instant this is the first thing you should do this is going to help your english speaking your communication in general even your own language sound much stronger more confident you will appear more confident and you will feel more confident too it will change your feelings when you change your body you change your energy and that does change how you feel and when you do this a lot this is the fake it till you make it. It actually can become real. You, you've practiced it so much. You practice the postures and the way of speaking and moving. It becomes part of you. It becomes a habit. You actually then do start to feel much more confident and much less nervous because all these physical habits change you over time and the changes become permanent. So this is a great way to do it. Okay. Highly recommended. Now, the second way the long-term way to feel more confidence is to just be better. <laughs> Success is to succeed. Succeed and you will feel more confident, right? Success breed, we could say success breeds confidence. Success creates confidence. So this is obvious, right? If you, uh, if you give a speech and everybody at the end cheers, yeah, rah, woo, oh my God, you're great. Oh, you're a great speaker. You're going to like, oh, wow, you're going to feel some more confidence. Then you give another speech and the same thing happens. Ah, everyone's jumping and clapping and going crazy. You're the best speaker. Oh, my God, you're great. You're fantastic. Oh, we want to hire you. We want you to come back and speak again. <coughs> well, this happens three, four or five times. And you're going to be like, I'm a good speaker. You are going to feel much more confident, right? Because this is based on real world skill real world real world feedback real world success right 
It's the same. I think someone in the comments just mentioned like girl talking to girls. A guy wants to go up and talk to girls, right? And he's a single guy and he's trying to get dates. Well, again, if you uh, if you for the long term, if you go up to girl a girl and you say, hey, you want to go to dinner with me? And she's like, oh yes, oh please, yes, right? And then uh, and then. Two days later, you see another girl, you walk up. Hey, you want to go to dinner with me? Yes, yes. Oh, my God, you're great. Please, let's go to dinner. If this happens five or six times, you're going to be like, hmm, yeah, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm confident with women. Huh? Women love me, right? <laughs> so that's the, that's the dream situation. But the problem is you probably are not at that point yet. That takes a long time. You need a lot of skills, a lot of practice, a lot of experience to get those successes, right? It doesn't matter in any situation. It ta that takes a lot of time. So that's why the instant techniques are so important because I th most people are thinking, well, AJ, yeah, that sounds great, but how do I get success? How do I get the first success? I'm so nervous that I always fail. I go talk to a girl, um, and then she just is like, is like oh, no thanks, uh, get away from me. Right. And then I talk to another girl, get away. So you just have failure, failure, failure. And this starts to destroy your confidence and your confidence gets lower and lower and lower. That's why you need the instant methods. That's why you need to do in some ways, some acting, some pretending using the, you know, specific techniques so that you appear very strong and confident. You feel a bit more confident, but there's still a lot of nervousness inside that is normal. And that's you know, for quite a while, you need that. You need these techniques, these instant techniques, these pretend, these acting techniques. You need them so that you will get some success. And then you get the success. Ah, now that adds to your confidence. Now you feel a little more confident. And then you use the techniques again and you get another success. Okay, now you've got the techniques. You're getting better at those. You're feeling more confident. But you also have two successes. And this is more of that deep level of confidence. And so you can see they start to work together. And then eventually you feel super confident in this area, whatever it is. Speaking English, job interviews, presentations, talking to a girl, taking an English test. They become like, you know, it's nothing and I'm so confident. I know I can do it. Right. So that's how you do it. The instant technique and the long term, deeper method. Let's get into some quick comments and questions. And then I got to go. I got about I got a few minutes. So Jonathan Osen Osenaga says, how you speak to a girl? Because it's different when you speak to a girl in another language. Well, indeed. Right. So the, this, this is the problem with English for you, not, obviously not for me, but for you, uh, is that everything becomes more difficult when you are doing it in a foreign language. So these situations are all already stressful. They're already difficult, even in your own language. Taking a test is still stressful for a lot of people, even in your own language. Job interviews are stressful for most people. Presentations are stressful for most people, right? Speaking in a meeting can be very stressful for most people. So they're already stressful situations. Then you add the, the foreign language and now it becomes super stressful, right? So this is, again, this is why you need to use these techniques because you're right, of course. Amina, good to see you as always. And Amina just says, how are you doing? How are your kids? I'm doing well, starting to feel better. I was sick, <laughs> taking various medicines right now and slowly getting better. I went back to jujitsu yesterday. For the, I, I was off for a few weeks. It felt weird, but went back and had a great day training yesterday. So feeling good. Kids are doing fine too. Alejandro Esparza says, hi from San Francisco, place I used to live. Hello. <laughs> Rainier says, you're the best teacher with the most beautiful accent. That's very nice. Thank you. Uh, this person says, uh, how much will all of your lessons cost me? I want them all at once. Um, well, right now we don't have like a bund. Well, actually, you, you can get a discount. What you can do is buy one of the courses. Let's say Power English. Buy it. 
then what's going to happen is after you buy Power English, you'll get an offer, like immediately. You'll you'll get a a page will come up and say, oh, you you can add the pronunciation course if you want for a thirty percent discount if you add it now. So just click add it now. Then you'll get another offer. You know, you can add the business English course now if you want. And again, you get a discount like 35%, 30%, something like that. And you can say add it now. And then you can say add the VIP. So you can just add them all. That's the best way to do it because you'll get a discount on the other courses. You'll pay the full price for Power English. But the other, all the other courses, you'll get a very nice discount. So that's the way if you want to buy a lot of my courses at one time and have the price lower, that's the best way to do it. Buy, I would say Power English because it's the uh, lowest price. So buy Power English and then add on the other ones. Just, you know, that's the way to do it. Cool. Loyal RD said, in, with just three months of your podcast, I reached an intermediate upper level. I listened to, wow, I listened to 600 episodes of your podcast already. Is that all of them? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. You've been listening like crazy. Wow, thanks, you're my hero, says Loyal RD. Well, Loyal RD, you know, clap and, you know, congratulations to you. You rock. Uh, so you only use my podcast, but I, obviously you are listening a lot of hours every day. You are doing a ton of listening, so good for you. That is fantastic. Great success story. Fu Wen says, can I learn from books about collocations and idioms combining with effortless English? You can if you like, if you enjoy it, right? You know, it's not necessary at all. But uh, if, you, if, if you're curious, if you like studying that kind of thing, it won't hurt. Well, this is nice. Uh, Abdul Khalik Abdul Fatah says, Once I started your course of 27 lessons and my friends were mocking me. So they were kind of laughing at, at him. Like, haha, what are you doing with this, that crazy course? What's wrong with you? Now, after three years, they came to me and told and asked me, How did you learn it? You know, because he had a huge success. Huge success, huge improvement. And he said, I told them AJ is the key. Hi from Iraq. Awesome. Yeah, don't worry about what other people think, right? This is a great example. So good for you. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, Van Lal Dika says, uh, I appreciate your teaching a lot. You energize me always. I'm from Myanmar. Awesome. Go back a little bit, see if I missed any comments here. I think I got them all. Kratos says, It's been a while. I've been here since I've seen you. I'm from I'm Jul Julius Julius from Colombia. Hello, hello. Tata Talk says, I love you, man. You have changed my life. Mwah. The Art of Quranic Education says, hi. Hello. Okay, good. All right, I'll take a, let's see if I might have time for a couple more. I got a couple minutes and then I got to go. I got to watch my kids. My wife's going out uh, and I got to watch the kids. Okay, uh, Amara Wade says, Hi, AJ, how to join your VIP uh, program? Well, okay, if you're watching on the screen, you see on my screen there's a website. Go there, uh, and you can uh, enter your email if you like and get my book for free, and then you can just go to the website effortlessenglishclub.com. Not the seven rules part, just effortlessenglishclub.com, and go to the bottom of the webpage, you'll see there's a list of all my courses. You'll see VIP. Just click VIP and then just join. So that's it's just effortlessenglishclub.com. If you're listening on the podcast, just audio, effortlessenglishclub.com. And I, we have a course catalog. So 
it, you can just look at all of the courses and compare them and choose one if you want VIP program, if you want Power English, Business English, Pronunciation, you know, whatever. Just uh, go down to the bottom of my webpage. There's a menu. You see the courses. Just click on the course catalog and you can compare them all. Cool. Anatu says, I like to listen to your podcast while I am working. Thanks so much for your effort. It is really helpful for my listening. Excellent. Thank you. Joseph says, I'm a beginner. I do not have many vocab, many vocabulary. I do not understand a lot of grammar. No problem. I decided to participate in an effortless English course. Is this a good decision? Well, of course, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> and you, the fact that you don't understand grammar is a good thing because it means you're not going to confuse yourself trying to remember, you know, uh, 10 different verb tenses and uh, 20 rules for using the word the <laughs> and all these things that people get confused about because they've studied too much grammar in school. So you're going to learn grammar with my course, but you're going to learn it in a natural way, the same way that babies and kids learn, the same way my kids are learning, you know, just as native speakers listening to me, their dad, right? I'm not teaching them the present perfect tense and how to conjugate verbs. Of course not, right? They're just listening to me and they're, they're I mean, their grammar is already quite good and with speaking, but it's just natural. They just, just they, they have a, a feeling for it. They could never explain it to you. And uh, that's what you need to do. So it's actually good. Listen to those point of view stories and mini stories. As a beginner, you might find some of the main lessons a little difficult. There might be a lot of new vocabulary in the main lessons, say for Power English, for example. Uh, you might say, oh, wow, this is a little difficult. Don't worry. As a beginner, if the main lesson's difficult, if the commentary lesson's difficult, focus more listen more to the mini stories and the point of view because they're easier and they're also the most important lessons. That's where you're going to learn the grammar naturally. That's where you're going to really improve your listening and speaking ability. The mini story, mini story lessons and the point of view lessons. Really the main lesson, what we call the main lesson and what we call the commentary is really more for just building vocab. Okay which you can do with time. So focus, beginners, focus more time on mini story and point of view. As your level goes up, then you can do all of those lessons. Uh, but you can come back. You know, when you get my courses, they're yours for life, right? They don't disappear. Once you pay, it's yours. So you can just save them and come back to them if you need to, Some if some seem too difficult. Did you make a book? Yes, Master Zilong, get my book for free. I'm giving the ebook, right? The electronic, the PDF version of my book is now free. Look on the screen. It's that's the website, effortlessenglishclub.com slash seven rules. Really just anywhere on my website, enter your email and I'll send you an email with a link and you get download my entire book, over 200 pages. Download the whole book for free. Just go to my website and enter your email. EffortlessEnglishClub.com <laughs> I'll go with the last question. Why not? <laughs> Amina says, uh, how many hours do you sleep in a day? <laughs> <coughs> Since the kids, it's been about six hours a day. Like last night was six. If I'm lucky... <laughs> on a good day <laughs> if I <coughs> excuse me if I can manage to get to bed early and uh, the kids if I'm lucky and the kids sleep in a little later then I might get seven hours a night and if I'm super lucky on a magical day I'll get eight but that doesn't happen much usually six to seven hours a night all right that's it so let's just summarize very quickly um, hey, what's going on with my, hmm? there we go. Uh, sorry, I just had a little problem with my screen there. All right. To summarize how to feel more confident. There are two basic methods, strategies. 
the one that's probably most useful to you right now. It's the instant method. These are this method uses acting techniques where you you first focus on changing your posture, right? Your body position, shoulders back, heads up. Anyone with Power English, my course, you know that phrase because I say it constantly in the course, right? In VIP2, shoulders back, heads up, shoulders back, head up, right? Chest out, right? All these things. You're just, you're going to put your body into a confident position. Then you're going to focus on your breathing, slowing your breathing down, slowing down your movements a little bit. You know, not too much, right? You don't want to be frozen. That looks weird. But just don't, instead of moving quickly, which looks nervous, you move just more slowly and more smoothly. Then you actually slow down your speaking. Again, not too much, obviously, but be careful. Don't speak too fast. Most people, when they get nervous, speak too fast. Now, doing it as a, with a foreign language, like English for you, Maybe that's not a problem, but it still can be. Focus on your pauses. When you pause, be silent. No sounds and no words to fill up the space. No, mm, uh, mm, e, ah, eto, ah, that, none of that. Silent pauses. And of course, good eye contact. These things are all great. So start combining all those things. You will feel more confident. Most importantly, you will look confident. Even if you feel nervous, nobody will know. And the second thing is long-term, of course, is just get more successes. As you start to succeed more and more, just naturally at a deep level, you'll start to feel much more confident. But that takes time. So the instant methods are probably the most useful for you now. All right, get my book for free, Effortless English. Learn to speak English like a native. The entire book free for you. Learn my whole system. Enter your email at effortlessenglishclub.com. Effortlessenglishclub.com. Lots of love to you. See you next time.